Hey all, Mike here, back with part two of building the All-American Closet. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, I want you to pause this video right now. Go check out part one of this video series, which I've linked in the description below, as well as the cards at the top of the video. I'm challenging myself to build a wardrobe that is entirely made in the USA, and I need your help. In today's video, we're keeping the train rolling. We already talked about shirts and tops, so today we are focusing on bottoms. And remember, whatever American-made clothing that you think I need, give me a shout in the comments below, DM me on Instagram, tweet me, email me, do whatever you need to do to get in contact with me, and I will buy them and give you a shout out in the next video. All right, so we're gonna get started with my American-made closet walkthrough going through shorts and pants with some shorts options, starting with some workout and mesh shorts. So one of my go-to pairs for mesh shorts is from All American Clothing Company. They are incredibly affordable. I mentioned them a bunch on this channel, but they are an online retailer featuring a ton of made in the USA brands. Now, this pair of shorts in particular is one that I wear pretty much every week. It's made by WSI Sports wear, um, but is you can purchase it on All American Clothing Co. as well as some other retailers, but they are awesome for just everyday wear and working out. Moving right along, I also have a pair of American training shorts from Go Ruck. Now this company, not everything that they have in their online store is made in the USA, so just make sure to check those product details or shoot them a message if you're unsure. But their American training shorts are made in the USA. Now these, unlike the WSI sportswear brand, has a little liner uh, in inside the short. So if that is something that you really like when you're looking for mesh workout shorts, then definitely check out the American Training Short from Go Ruck. Now, I also have a couple of other pairs from Go Ruck. Their simple pants are incredibly lightweight. They actually have a couple of different thicknesses that you can choose from, but these are amazing for hiking or really just in the fall or spring when it's not too cold and not too hot outside, but very, very breathable fabric. So I have these in a long, lightweight pant version. And then I also have their shorts uh, in more of a coyote tan, I believe, is the color on their website, but these are super Super comfortable, really great. I honestly use them for traveling a lot too, just because they uh, are incredibly lightweight, soft, comfortable, and easy to wear on a plane or just when you're moving around all day. And then in terms of other casual shorts that I have, this is a pair from American Giant. Uh, again, this is more of a breathable, uh, kind of moisture wicking fabric that is different from maybe your all cotton variety or a cotton polyester blend you might find in some long pants, which I'll get to in a minute. But these American Giant pants are incredibly comfortable. They come in a couple of different colors, but everything is made in the USA and they have a ton of other apparel options, which I am going to run through in a lot of the other videos in this series, as well as a little bit later when I'm talking about some of the pants that I own. And then in terms of swimsuits, Los Angeles apparel is my go-to. These are incredibly basic. You know, I don't love a ton of patterns in a lot of my clothing, as you may uh, be able to, to tell, um, but these are awesome. They are very affordable and they come in a ton of different colors in their online store. LA Apparel, definitely check them out. All right, moving right along to pants. First up is American Giant. So I have their duck cloth pants here that are honestly one of my go-tos that I wear almost every day in the winter. They are incredibly comfortable. They're a lot softer than your typical like duck cloth pant that's very rigid. So they're kind of a nice blend between work clothes and kind of everyday casual wear. Um, they came, I think, a little bit longer than I anticipated, so I had to get them slightly tailored but these are like I said incredibly comfortable really durable so no matter what you use them for they are a really good option so you definitely want to check out American Giant for these guys and then I also have a pair of their joggers 
uh, which you can see here, they're a little bit wrinkled. Um, but they have a cinch at the bottom. Um, and so if you like that style, honestly love these for traveling as well. Um, wear them often in the spring and fall. And they have another pair of duck cloth work pants. As you can tell, I really like that style. This one is from American Trench. It's part of their original equipment series. Um, but you can see here, it's got kind of a cool patching around the knee area. So uh, pretty unique look versus a lot of other duck cloth pants that are out there. These are a little bit slimmer fit. And so I would suggest wearing them for just more casual wear uh, than work wear. Uh, but I really, really like these and I can pair them with a ton of other made in the USA stuff that's in my closet. And then in terms of jeans, Dearborn denim has been my go-to for the last couple of years. Not all of the fabric that uh, they have for every single jean variety that's in their store is sourced in the US. Everything's built and assembled here. They do source some materials from Mexico. Uh, but these jeans here are sourced from US cotton. Uh, they're just, they're kind of basic regular fit, uh, which I really like that style, but these are my absolute go-tos in terms of jeans. And then I also have the Dearborn denim jeans in more of a khaki color as well as a black color. Moving on to more formal pants, I wanted to start with a brand called Hardwick. So Hardwick is probably one of the oldest men's formal wear brands in the US. They do all of their manufacturing here. They source a couple of materials from overseas, just depending on availability. You know, things like silk and other stuff like that is really hard to find in the US. But I have a pair of their kind of pleated khakis here which I really love. Obviously, these are super versatile for pretty much any semi-formal or formal wear. Um, so really good option there. And uh, then the other one that uh, I really like is Jack Donnelly for uh, really semi-formal or formal wear pants. So I have a couple of pairs of their khakis and you can see these are kind of a dark navy. Um, those are made in the USA. And then we have their kind of basic khaki option as well, which are non-pleated. And so I really like having this non-pleated version and then the pleated hardwick version in my closet, depending on the look that I'm going for. And then lastly, can't forget a trusty pair of overalls. These are my absolute favorite. They are from LC King, uh, which is a manufacturer in Bristol, Tennessee. Their Heritage Series is amazing, and these overalls are incredibly durable, and honestly, they make uh, my rotation pretty often in the colder months. So really enjoy these. If you really like a or want a good pair of American-made overalls, LC King is an amazing option. But we also have some other research on overalls on allamerican.org that you can check out for some of the other brands that are made in the USA as well. So we went through workout shorts, casual shorts, swimsuits, pants, jeans, overalls, more formal options, what am I missing? Y'all let me know in the comments, send me an email, uh, at me on any social media platform, and let me know what other American-made pants and shorts that I should pick up. I will buy them and give you a shout out in the next video. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all in the next one.